Hey, good morning. Hello everyone. My name is Hari Mahfiro. I am from Universitas Blas Maret, Surakarta. Here, I want to present our research about the performance evaluation of different objective function in PID tuned by PSO in DC motor speed control. This resource is done with my colleague, which are Mr. Joko, Mr. Chico, Mr. Muhammad Hamka, and Mr. Augustinus Sujono. Here is the outlines of my presentation, starting from, from background and then system design with this PID tuning using PSO and then result discussion from three different testing and the last one is completion background DC motor has some advantages such as easy to control the speed or position and wide adjustable range and based on reference 5 and 6 in our paper Almost 90% of industry still use PID control because of its simplicity, applicability, and reliability. However, PID has weakness, which is takes a long time to tune. And in this resource, the performance of the different objective function in PID tuned by PSO particle swarm optimization in DC motor speed control will be evaluated. The previous comparison of PID tuned by PSO in applied in the FER system, whereas this study is using DC motor which has a faster dynamic response. And the other contribution is the control effort which relates to energy consumption also study this results. And the system design. This is the system hardware that we use in our research. But in this step, we just use simulation from the transfer function from this real hardware. So in the first step, we model this hardware by data acquisition and using MATLAB system identification to get the transfer function and in the fourth step of the results we design the control system based on the transfer function in the simulation environment PID tune using PSO PSO was used to tune PID because of its optimization capability to cope with objective function. Here are the flow diagram of PSO algorithm. Star and then initial particle inserting space. Calculate the next position and velocity. Calculate the weight and fitness value. And then update the individual base position update the global base position and we determine the max iteration is meet the max iteration or not if not we go back to the second step and this is the some fitness function that we compare in our results there is a integral of absolute error integral of square error mean square error in the crawl times uh, absolute error in the crawl times square error and this is the formula that we use to calculate it result and discussion in our result we have three testing the first one is step respond and then set point changes and the last one is disturbance rejection this is the result of step response. You can see that uh, this performance of the same controller using PID but with different value of 
its parameter because it tune with different objective function like we have mentioned before with this ISE, IAE, ITSE, ITEA, and MSE. And besides, uh, we compare the performance in speed. We also compare the integral of control A4, which it's mean like an energy controller. And from this table, we can see that in terms of performance, ESI has the lowest oversuit. ESA has the lowest oversuit. While MSE has the best settling time. MSE has the best settling time. On the other hand, in terms of control energy, ISE is the best. In terms of total control energy, we can see here that ISE has the lowest value. It means that it consumes the lowest energy, while on the other side, it can be seen that ETAI consumes the highest control energy. Then, the second test for set point changes can see that it is the pink and blue IAN IT AI has the highest oversuit and undersuit and from the quantitative data we can see that in terms of performance ITSE is the best ITSE is the best in terms of performance is mean rise time it is the same and then settling time is the best one in the oversuit and undersuit it is the best one so the three term is according to the performance ITS is the best one and then from the total control energy the lowest one is the ISE. So in the second test, in performance parameter, ITSE is the best, and in control energy parameter, ISE is the best. And then the last one is disturbance rejection. We can see we add the disturbance at times 30 second and all the response is has fluctuates here and then come back to its position and from the quantitative value is table we can see that uh, here we calculate after the disturbance so uh, we eliminate uh, the rise time parameter and from this value ITSE is the best in performance you can see ITSE the lowest settling time from the oversuit and undersuit it also has the lowest one and in the another side from the control energy point of view IS is the best in terms of control energy. You can see that ITSE has the lowest value in total control energy. That's all. Therefore, the conclusion, one of the weakness of PID control is it consumes a lot of time to tune. The second one, PSO or particle swarm optimization is one of the optimization methods which can be used to tune PID. Five different objective function which is ISE, IAI, ITSE, ITEI, and MSA was already compared in terms of performance and control energy. The simulation results show that in terms of performance, ITSA is the best one. 
On the other hand, in terms of control energy, ISE is using the lowest energy to control the plant. Therefore, if our priority is performance, it is preferred to use ITSE objective function to tune the PID, while if our control energy is the force that we need, we must use ISI to tune the PID using PSO. That's all of my presentation and thank you.